And I'm back. I know it's been about a month plus because the stock market has been a little bit slow. It's AK47 over at Deckmar Trades via Tradecaster.com. Josh Smith, official prime trade on here on Instagram. But hey, tomorrow, join me uh, talking about Tradecaster.com. Going live for the man, for the man, Sean Deckmar, as usual, as I do in Friday afternoons. Actually, all day Friday. What am I talking about? I don't know, Friday afternoons, but that's the new announcement. We will always be doing live commentary on Friday after there, uh, over there as well. Secondly, if you missed out, just went live on Thursday this afternoon as well. Now let's get into today's alerts. The craziness that it has been of late. Psych! It just has been slow. It has been a lot slower lately. And here's what we've been seeing. Now we'll get. I'm going to get into CGIX, but I'll show you what we've been seeing. And it's a lot of what CGIX has done. Even if we've gotten smaller pre-market spikes, which you know usually when you don't spike too much and other ones have spiked even more than this, which you know this is only spiking from what? $5 up to $6.20, only $1.20 spike at most. Essentially about a dollar spike really is what it's holding. You know, 5 to 6 it's not, you know, that's not a huge spike. You know, we, we're, we're, my point being, even lately, usually these bode well to, oh, this is going to, you know, those are the ones kind of that have been rolling a little bit lately. Smaller pre-market spikes where we see spikes from $5 to say up to 10, maybe a little bit more where they're up 100 plus percent, you know, five, you know, when they've gone in five to 10, five to $15, somewhere in that range, you know, where they're just up over 100 percent. Yeah, maybe a little spike at the open, which we'll get into and they just fade off. Now, this is the reason I like CGX when I first got into chat today. My very first alert. We'll go back to right here. I know this is the, kind of this is my first alert. This is a copy and paste, but CGX. Here's the alerts. Let's get into them real quick. So 921. So I'm in the chat at 921. Let's scroll over a little bit more here. Let's keep going. Oh, that's when I posted that. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my 914. 914 is the first alert. Now, of course, I couldn't go back far enough when I started screenshotting. As you can see, here's the next set per alert team, and here we go. And that's when I kind of got in with showing people I was getting into the trade. But right here. My first alert was at 914. So at 914, which I'm pretty much trying to back up to, but it's right here. We're in, we're in this wedge. We could put a line right here going along the base bottom of it. Here's the top of it. A nice little pennant flag, really. You know, we've got, you know, essentially this this pole here, we've got this flag forming. And what I'm saying is we've got 6-5 resistance. But let, here at first, let's go back a little bit if, if we can here. We have 6-5 resistance right here, building a nice flag wedge here watch for a pop over six flag or uh, over six flags watch for a pop over six five six dollars and fifty cents for the next leg up i don't know why that three got in there but it did then at 9 16 so just two minutes later over seven dollars let everyone know it's kind of room obviously we know we can get you know seven dollars is really its main target once we push over six five so that's why i'm saying move over seven dollars we can move to 750 over 750 there's a lot of room and so what I was essentially stating there and letting everyone know right there, you know, and I missed out on a couple of alerts, but it had a team building this nice flag, this nice wedge over six, five, we could see it's next leg up and on top of the fact of having the six, five resistance, six, five was really four and more. So right there on that flag, you know, that's where it was forming. I don't know why this is taking so long all of a sudden to pull up CJX's yearly data. All right, got that pulled up there. Finally, don't know what was taking so long. Now, we, what we, were, what I was doing, I was going back to this right here, and notice that it was above this area. So I'm like, okay, I don't need this. This is really the six two six three area. So then I zoom in here, right? So I'm like, where am I getting? Why am I getting six five and six six? That six six resistance. Now here's six five. You can see the, you know, the the open of this day, and it fell off. But the true six six resistance comes up a little bit more and comes back to these candles right in here. So you can see right here, the close. The high, 665. So you can see in that area why I'm getting that, that, that bit of 6.6 six resistance that comes after the 6.5 area, right? And then when it rolls, yeah. 6.8 area. And, and of course, now let's just get back to the chart itself. But that's where I was kind of showing that 6.5, 6.6. Six, six. And what we get, though, look, as you can see, chat members and i wish i just i need to start just taking screenshot with so you know what someone was saying but i was like oh the way it's building right here i was like this this is easily heading easily heading to seven dollars right now and so that's where right here on the pop not this pop but this pop right through here is where i started getting in on this trade and then right here on this leg up i knew it was done it's gone it's off in 2000 shares for a push to seven i got in at the six which that would but when it was holding this and creating these lower shadows essentially bouncing off of these you know these upper you know these old resistance from the flag the six five area i knew it was going to push and that was one of my alerts in chat and i wish we would have seen it here it was right before this uh in between that 914 916 alert you then saw um you know 
um, there was a couple where it's in there saying, hey, 6'6", six, six, oh, this has the power. So, you know, the volume is finally starting to come in here. And there was that big, finally, that volume surge pop. And you went 6'8", right, right through 7, like it was nothing. I mean, this area ended up being the best thing. And again, look at the flag. Notice the flag. Here's your pole. Here's the bottom of it. Here's where you could put the bottom line of your wedge in. Here's the top of your wedge. And a little bit of descent to it. You could go straight, aclo- straight, straight across if you wanted to. But it has a little bit of a decline to it. So a nice flag. Nice bull. More of a pennant flag to me than a bull flag. More of a pennant flag than whammy. You get this squeeze and surge right up to new high a day. But then look what you're getting. That's why I took all my profit in here and was done. And then right there I took my last one because like, okay, I'm going to get out. My you know entry was a 6-7 area. I know this is about to fall back through that. You know, getting in, I don't. I want to take the last bit of my 250 shares or what I'm going to preach, showing you guys what I'm doing, scaling out immediately. I'm not trying to hold this for a long run because here's what I'm seeing. And here's what we got because you saw the meat of the move. I mean, look at the trend line crack you could have had too. Right here, you put a line in. Look at the line. Now, right through here is where it gets a little steep. So right here in this area, right where I got out that 6.8 area, and that's why I was like, I got to get out here. It's going to tumble more back to where the 6.6 support is. And it kind of bounced there to 6.6 support, which would have been fine for me. Still kind of got out there. Not bad. But then it falls through there and through the VWAP. But look at the trend line crack. You don't, I mean, you could have started it right here, but look at this steep line right here. That steep little and crack right through there. That was a great, and look at it, just falls straight through. Now we're still trying to maybe U shape, you know, we can maybe do something. Uh, but again, beautiful, right? Just when you step back from it right here, look at that flag. First little flag too, and it, 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 it cracked, right? That's why you wait for the flag to determine what you're going to do. This beautiful flag right here at the pre-market. Oh, opening bell, right? Surge and volume is going to come in. Everyone's like, hey, look, it's got some, you know, it's just released. I think it released news this morning. Nothing crazy, but it'll release news. And then whammy, just falls right on over. But again, holds up, holds up. Traders go back to it and then creates another flag popping over the high of day area, right? Your pole is into the high of the old high of day area. So now you're above it, bouncing, bouncing off old high of day resistance in pre-market. Why we leave pre-market on. And that's why I came in and said, again, my 914 right here, 914. There's my copy and paste. CJX building a nice flag wedge here. Watch for a pop over 6.5. Anyway, you got my point. That was the best buy area we had today. We had two flags, one failed. This one succeeded. We went for two there. There's your buy. That's your buy alert. Over 6.5, you're still good anywhere in the 6.5, 6 to 6.6 6 range through 7. Beautiful, beautiful move. Now, I'll just go through a couple real quick. We'll keep today's short uh, you know, recap quick and easy. But here's what we're seeing. Hello. Hello, look at this. Do you see what I'm saying here? And I think this may have continued over from, let's get to the three-minute time frame. Oh, actually, I thought it would finally scroll over there. There we go. We're getting news. Sometimes it's in, it is in after hours the day before, right? You know, we get some news right here, right at after hours. We get a spike. It's holding some of its gains. Oh, look, we're in pre-market. We're hitting 8.8, 8, you know, from a low of what? Where do we spike from? I think it was like in the $3 range. Yeah, 3 50 Essentially, I know it says 340, but get my point. Right in after hours, boom, immediately, okay? And then we're holding that. Now we're testing again in pre-market. Hit that 875 roll, right? We know 875 is super tough, resistance. Look at it just since then. Just fell right on off. Then we get a little love again at, you know, in pre-market, like all the way back down to 4, 5, only a dollar above where the run started. Pretty much giving everything back at the time. But again, traders come back over, right? 4, 5, all the way back up to 7. Quick little ride up. Could put a trend line in it right here, which I've done so many times for traders in chat. Look at the trend line that could have been set in right there. Then the retest, we crack it. We retest because that would have been the trend line up. Look at the trend line up right through there is where it would have been. We retest. We fell at, fell there. Could have added more if you wanted to for the short, knowing what team. This is what we've been getting. Just like CGIX, what? We're creating almost the same kind of U-shape. I've done this over and over again. I'm going to repost. I did a, a lesson, and I'll have that up on uh, YouTube, so you can go see that on YouTube as well, as you're seeing this one on YouTube, but I know I do a lot of stuff on Instagram. Instagrammers, go over to YouTube. That's where I'm, going to, I'm probably going to most likely put it. I may put it on both, but current market conditions. I want everyone to see this, and I'll post a date, and, when I'll, and in the description, I'll say, we're still seeing this. Is this pre-market spike? After hour spike, however it is, not holding up, coming back down, getting a spike sometime again, relatively usually into the open, and then creating one of these, a slide, a wee. How many times if you watch me and if you're watching me, like I'm a little three-year-old riding a slide for the first time. Well, not for the first time, but obviously like I'm like, mom, dad, 20 times, yeah, wee, 27 times, wee. You get my point. Now let's get into another top gainer on the day. Same from yesterday. This one's from after hours as well. No, actually, this is this morning. I keep I stuff out for some reason. It said Thursday. I was thinking I'm into Friday already. I was like, Thursday? Okay, yeah. I'm like, Josh, yeah, okay, it's not, it's not Friday yet. <laughs> Thursday, this morning, boom, releases news. Beautiful bull flag popping up close to 100%. Sometimes we've had stocks over 100%, you know, that, but anyway, look, just dead. 
nothing. Didn't create the Wii, but just dead. Just has done nothing. I think POLA was another one recently that was the top gainer in pre or in the morning. Again, though, what we're seeing, uh, this one's actually slowly holding its gains. Okay, no, this wasn't a pre-market. This is one that's actually just slowly moving up today. But again, here's what I'm saying. Look what I'm going back to, though. Look at this, nothing. Sure, it spiked nothing in the open. There's no news. You can see down here, there's no news. But again, from 9.5 up to 12.5 on no spike in the morning. So that's what we're seeing on most stocks. If they are getting a run, uh, usually they're not, you know, it's, again, a lot of these plays aren't maintaining their runs. I think PPT, let's see how long it's been since that this was a runner. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. So in here, this one, again, look at this. It was all the way back to, so it's been a while since I looked at this one. I know I've looked at a few different, look again, one of my prime examples for in chat, nothing in pre-market, you know, we didn't spike anything in pre-market. Then we run and it wasn't even the biggest of runs, but it did hold its gains. Those are the ones that are holding their gains stuff, uh, stuff, st stocks, essentially, uh, that are, aren't spiking in pre-market, you know, stocks that spike in pre-market are given back gains big time. And of course, a lot of traders are still going over to, you know, say uh, playing, those are starting to die off now. And of course this, if for some reason, I don't know why think or swim usually is having, and of course wants to like show me it's having issues right now, but TCAT staying up. I mean, look at this daily run over the past, um, you know, however many days now here, we can just go back to, let's see how long it'll, hopefully it won't take 30 years to pull up the one year chart. But yeah, we're starting here at the $3 range, whatever we were at to, be, to begin with essentially. And then we push and have that one day where we push to 20. Then we hover in that 20 to 30 range. Then we push through that and hit the 50. When we get over 50, oh, look at that next next level up. Now this is going to be like a lot, like I said, GameStop, where, uh, but a lot more short lived. You're going to see the same type of run. It's just not going to last nearly as long. You know, GameStop, look at the run, a lot longer. Of course, now I'm zoomed in the wrong area, but you know, wasn't nearly as long. Then had its second run initial run and now starting to die off because it was the original King Kong. I mean, hello. I mean, we went from its initial run. Oh, uh, it was at some point, I know more closer, to it, but, it, but it started its run at $10. So it was a little higher, but again, you know, then it just kept creeping, 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 and then exploded. So it's kind of the same thing, just a smaller version. I should say TCAT is and kind of this new trend we're in. Um, and traders getting behind whatever the new, and of course, there's a lot of people pushing that on top of the fact. Um, but yeah, just want to get into today's trade. CGX though, a uh, great little call, got in there, get in, got in and out of a trade, really been short. Join me live tomorrow though, AK47 over at Deckmar Trades via tradecaster.com. Uh, Josh Smith official prime trading here on Instagram. And of course, got the website up and rocking and rolling too. Forgot to mention at the get go, uh, get over to the website, primetradinginvestments.com. That's primetradinginvestments.com. See y'all again soon.